than ever. I think that's a wig. I think it's a toupee. He's defected from the BGC. This character is sick, though. Now I'm back 4B, minus 14 is tight. Thanks again, uh, everybody, for all the generosity. Can we just stay focused here? I'm gonna go fast. Standing 1, plus 1, plus 8. 1, 2, oh, that's a classic. 1, 2, 1, 2, 4. Is that like a corkscrew? No, it's not a corkscrew. Uh, 1, 2, 4, forward. That's into Savage Stance. Savage Stance is uh, his stance. It looks really weird, right? It doesn't seem like a stance, but it's a stance. What kind of a stance is that? I think that uh, when the character came out, his fighting style was like listed as no style or some shit. Something weird. So that's why his stance is also so weird. It's, it's a taunt? Maybe it is a taunt. It's called Savage Stance. And it has shitloads of moves out of it. Uh, anyway, we'll get to that. 1, 2, 4, forward ends in Savage Stance. Uh, 1, 2, 4 on hit. See, he's blocking it, so it's not a... It, oh, he's not blocking it. Oh, it's because we have repeat action set. He's supposed to block it. Now he's going to block it. 1, 2, 4. Not a natural combo. 1, 2 is a natural combo, though. I think 2, 1 is better. No, 2, 1 is not 10 frames, is it? It's 12 frames. Okay, so 1, 2 might be his best 10 frame punisher. Unless I'm wrong. It might be his best 10 frame punisher. Uh, 1, 2. 1, 3 is a uh, high low. Not a natural combo. Uh, minus 12 on block. Not bad. 2, 1. This is 12 frames. Right? No, this is 11 frames. This is 11 frames. Uh, it's minus 8 on block, plus 3 on hit, plus 8 on counter hit. That's pretty weird. Maybe that's wrong. Whoa. Wait a minute. Standing 2 is plus 8 on counter hit, not 2 1. It's not wrong. So. Usually, in this game, when you grab your face like that during a stun, you're at major disadvantage. And that's what's going on here. Standing 2 on counter hit is plus 8. That's sick, because he's got that brass knuckle on his hands, too. That's tight. Plus 8. I don't know if that's old or not. 2-1 is 11 frame punish. Uh, at plus 7. That's pretty good. That's his 11 frame punish. 2-1 uh, forward. Forward ends in Savage Stance. Uh, excuse me. Um, this is Standing 3. This is 3-4. Both of those are kind of whatevs. Minus 11. It's not a natural combo. Uh, is that a corkscrew? No, right? Oh! Well, well, well. I just guessed. It might say here. Oh, it does. Tailspin. It's listed. Standing 4. His standing 4 is 12 frames, so it's kind of a slow one, but let's see if you get anything out of it. You get something, right? Is that a combo? Hey, what do you got? What do you get off of this shit? Forward, forward, 2? Maybe you can get forward, forward, 2. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll get to that. Who said that? Hey, Grave, what up, man? Thanks for the silent generosity, muchacho. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying Tekken as much as I am. Thanks, man. Excuse me. Uh, where was I? Hmm, standing four. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's uh, launch... I don't know if you get anything off of that. You know they changed the animation for this move? It used to it used to be called Telefonazo. Telefonazo. And it used to look like he was hitting you with a phone. He used to go like this. Boom! Hit you in the face with a telephone. It's for you, bitch. Boom! I used to love that move. It gives you good plus frames and it's high. But I loved it because of the name of the move. Telefonazo. But I don't know if it's called that. He doesn't look like he's using a phone anymore. It's forward two. Where's forward two? Yeah, telefonazo! In fact, I think that in Spanish, telefonazo means to hit someone with a phone. Right? 
I'm pretty sure. You Spanish speakers in the chat, tell me if I'm wrong. I think telefonazo means to hit someone in the face with a phone. Telefonazo. But he doesn't look like he's using a phone anymore. Now it's like a punch. It used to look like a phone. This game is tight, right? This game is tight. Telefonazo this bitch. Don't answer it. Oh man, I'm not here. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> Telefonazo, don't tell him I'm here. Boom. I like this character. He's funny. Is he Mexican? Miguel? He's got to be Mexican, right? I don't know the lore. Is he Mexican? I know he's got a mariachi costume. Alright, alright. Mm. 1 plus 2. What's this? 1 plus 2 down. Oh, ends in crouch. Let's see it. Let's see the difference. Plus four or five? Not hit confirmable. Oh, maybe it is. It's kind of hard. Yeah, I don't think so. This moves whatevs. Minus three though, right? No, wait a minute. Minus seven. Minus six or seven, it says. So at least it's safe. Doesn't seem very good though. Why would you use that? Uh, forward two, that's our telefonazo. Minus three on block, plus six on hit. I think they nerfed this move. It stuns on counter, right? Yeah. And I think it high crushes too. Telefonazo high crushes, and it also stuns on counter hit. So you can juggle afterwards for a combo. And it's safe. So it has some uses. Also, it's very funny. That's the most, uh, most important thing to remember. A very funny move. Telefonazo. Okay, shh. Mexican is a religion? Is that true? I don't think that's true. Read a book. Uh, just a moment. Forward two. Forward three. What's this? Oh, there's a second hit, and it's a natural. I forgot about this move. I think you can hit confirm it, too. Oh, you can hella hit confirm this. Definitely. Let's see what it looks like. Hi. Hey, uh, for the users, thanks very much for the dollary dues. How's it going? Forward, three, four. Minus 12 on block after the second hit. Minus five or six. This is pretty good. I assume it hits on the ground too, right? Yeah, I think it hits on the ground. That's fucking tight. And it's hit confirmable. That's great. And delayable. That's sick. All right, forward three four. I don't I don't remember if it was like that before, but I'm just remembering shit. <laughs> forward four two. Oh, this is a classic. It's a mid homing move, and people used to argue in Tekken six if it was hit confirmable or not. Uh, some people seem to think it was. I think it probably was, but it feels like it's not in this. Maybe they nerfed it. I think it was in Tekken six, and it's not in this. So you have to commit. The second hit is a natural combo and it'll wall splat and it's a mid homing move but you have to commit now. Uh, let's see how bad it is on block. Forward, 4-2, four, ooh they made it safer, right? It used to be launch punishable I think. I don't remember but I think they made it safer. Now it says minus 13 or 12. That seems improved. Am I wrong? Wasn't this launch punishable before? Or am I wrong? You always had to commit? I don't know. Everyone said that, but you know that Korean guy, Rain, from Tekken 6? He told me face to face that he can hit confirm that every time. I don't know if he's full of shit or not, but I mean, I'm inclined to take a Korean player's opinion over some random stoner in the chat. No offense. Maybe you're a random Korean stoner in the chat, but just saying. Um, hey, I gotta thank some people. Grave for the users. A Damascus 7000, thanks very much uh, for the Twitch Prime. And Silent EMS, thanks very much, I appreciate it. Muchos Garcias. All right. Where were we? Forward 2-4, minus 13 or 12. That's pretty neat. 
Uh, what else? Forward 1 plus 2. Oh yeah, if you hit with this, you get this for free. I don't know if there's anything else you get now. Is that more? Same damage. That might be better, actually. Because it leaves you closer. Right? It leaves you real close. That's guaranteed. You might get something more now. Down 2 plus 4. Down 2 plus 4. Maybe you're not talking to me. Um... Forward 14, forward 1 plus 2. That's 14 frames. So this must be his 14 frame punish, right? 44 damage. I think this is his 14 frame punish. Alright. Mm, moving on. 14 frame punish. <laughs> Telefonzo actually means a telephone for your footers. Hey, Shin Tristan, thanks very much for the inside info. Uh, I think he's an authority on this. I'm pretty sure he speaks Spanish. Good shit. Thanks very much. I'm glad I tried out Miguel. He's pretty damn fun so far. Forward 1 plus 2, 4, 2, 3, punish. 4, 3 plus 4. Oh, this is his unblockable. Thanks again, Shin Tristan. <laughs> this guy's tight. Hey, thanks again. Futa means feet in Spanish. I would like to pre-order 10 body pillows, please. They're for a friend, I swear. <laughs> All right, I'll put your order in, Davidion. Thanks very much. I swear. Uh, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Forward, three plus four, forward. This guy's sick. Why didn't that hit? Oh, 100%? <laughs> so that's what he's laughing about. That shit does 100%. Almost. Maybe it leaves you with like a little bit of damage. How much is your life bar? 180. It leaves you with two points. So you're not dead. You're still alive, don't worry. Next caller, forward two plus three. Oh, that's not an armor move, huh? That's cool. How unsafe is that? Chariot tackle. Forward two plus three is minus two to plus uh, minus seven to plus two, depending on how deep it hits. That's very interesting. Sometimes when you look at frame data, you'll notice that there's a variation in how what the frame data is. Like there's a big range. This move can be either minus seven on block or plus two on block. So let's go to guard all and basically if you get it blocked up close it's blocked earlier in the animation so Miguel has to recover longer therefore in this scenario it's minus seven on block because you're so close but if you get it blocked from like here it's gonna be plus on block because it's happening your the block animation is starting at the end of the animation of the attack so Miguel, the red Miguel, doesn't have to recover as long as he does up close because of, of the way it's getting blocked. This has a lot to do with 3D fighting games. This is a 3D fighting game thing. Uh, in Soul Calibur, sometimes a move is coming from left to right, and if they sidestep to like the direction it's going, it'll impact with them late. So then the frame data will change because it was impacted late. That's how 3D games work. You gotta remember, this is not a 2D space. This is a 3D space. So when you factor that in, some frame data can have lots of variables. Because think about an attack that's going from left to right. It starts over here, and if it's blocked over here, it still has to recover, right? But if it's blocked over here, it's at the end of the recovery. So the frame data is gonna be variable. You know what I mean? It's, it really has a lot to do with uh, the 3D concept. 
It's really interesting, actually, that a lot of people would never get it. But it's like one of those things where you'll get it. It's hard to get right now, but you'll get it eventually. The more you understand the way hitboxes and collision d detection works, you'll get it eventually. Uh, it is just 2D meaty. Uh, it's kind of like meaty, except meaty usually implies that you're coming out of recovery, sorry, you're coming out of invincible frames into a hitbox. That's what meaty usually means, right? Like, meaty usually means you do an attack, they're waking up with invincible frames, and then once they wake up, they're inside the attack. So that changes the frames. So it's kind of like meaty, but it's more like just the, it's blocked shallow. That's really what it is. Shallow or deep. If you block it deep, it's going to be less plus frames because it's got recovery. But if you block it shallow, it's going to be better recovery. Good times. All right, let's proceed. Mm. Oh, you. <laughs> Your tutorials have helped me Korean back dash. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Thanks, hey, Jay Ewens, thanks for the dollar dues, compadre. Down forward one, this is so important. Jake Ewens, I really appreciate that. Down forward one used to be zero in Tekken 6. They nerfed this shit. Now it's minus two on block. Uh, it used to be so great. You can go into Savage afterwards. Thanks again, Jake Ewens. Down forward, did I say two? Down forward one is what I meant to say. Down forward one one is a mid high. Uh, One one, what is it? Three? Mid high low. Hmm. One one two. Ah. I forgot all about this shit. You can delay the third hit, right? No? Hmm. One one three forward? Oh that goes into Savage Stamp, I see. Man, this character is gonna be a lot of fun. Does the seven frame delay affect your gameplay? Not in the least bit at all. Zero percent effect. In fact, I don't even believe it <laughs> to be true. It's so like unimportant to me what kind of, uh, uh, it's so unimportant to me what the frame delay is because who gives a fuck when you, you play the game and it feels great, right? It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't affect anything at all. To me I think the frame delay in the arcade might be worse that might be what it is right in the arcade in Tekken 7 in Japan it might be worse than seven frames because I've played this game in the arcade and it feels better now than it did in Japanese arcades so I guess you'd have to tell me how many frames the arcade version has of delay because it just doesn't feel very bad at all. I don't know. Mm, anyway. Uh, down forward one, one. Down forward one, two is mid mid. This is a classic, too. Let's get this guy to stop blocking everything. After I look at this guy's frame data, I'm going to play online with some characters that I know how to use and then the next training session with this guy is going to be look up the combos. Because that's going to be something I have to do outside of the stream, I think. Not not practice the combos, but look up the combos. Because, you know, I'm not going to sit sift through YouTube looking for combos. How's Japan? Japan is fantastic. One of the, one of the only places that really is worth getting an, on an airplane to go to, for me. It's such an amazing place. 
if you're into things like video games and uh, stuff like that. I mean, that's arcades specifically. Arcades and video games and Tekken and stuff like that. I mean, it's really great. It's a cool place. Plus good food. Mm, and lots to look at. Mm. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. One, four, two. Oh yeah, this is like a. This is his twin pistons, and it's a launcher, but it's launch punishable, or at least it was before. Down four, yeah, it's still launch punishable. And then down four, two, two is now changed. He used to be. Oh, you. <laughs> Uh, hey, Uncle Angus, found. where can I buy a crab-ass beard like yours? Hey, thanks, Dark Spaghetti. I got mine at Spencer's Gifts. Uh, but I don't think they have them anymore. Anyway, thanks. Uh, and Young Madly, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate that. Down forward 2-2. Two, two. This used to be a bound, now it's a corkscrew. Oh, and it's a homing move? Is that right? And mid-mid? No, it's not a homing move. Ah, excuse me, but it's safe. Minus six. And a wall splash. When the opponent spins like that on hit, anytime the opponent spins like this on hit, this is important. So write this down. Put the bong down. It doesn't matter what character you're using. If you hit them with a move and they spin like that on hit, that means that if a wall is behind them, directly behind them, this will wall splat into a juggle. So it doesn't, intuitively, your mind wouldn't think that is gonna wall splat. This is new in Tekken 7. Thank you. If the wall is directly behind them, it's a launcher and it will wall splat. It's new, not intuitive. So, and this applies for every character in the game every character in the game so look through your move list find the moves that do this and then consider using them in your wall pressure because it's going to be a true launcher if their back is directly to the wall in fact i almost want to show you but i'm not going to show you because it's going to take too long but uh it's a wall splat now four two one let me look at this combo now four two one now four one Back one four. Back one four. Back one four. Your combo's trash. Oh, savage back one four, right? Ah, yeah. Down four two two. Up forward three two two. Okay, let's try it. Down four two two. That's your combo. All right. Can you do that off of everything? Yeah, it looks like you can. All right. Good shit. Thanks for that combo. I was about to flush it, but I just didn't realize what you were talking about. That's how you do his combo. It looks like you could do it off of a lot of uh, launchers. Let's try it again. So we'll talk about it. Uh, it's not a big deal, but just to know a bread and butter. Down forward one, and then forward to enter savage stance. Back one four, that floats him in the air. Down forward two two is the corkscrew. Up forward three two two is the finisher. Simple combo. Cool. All right, GG's. What was the first video game that got you invested into learning it? I don't know what you're saying. I've been playing video games since I was a kid. A uh, little kid. Um, but you're really distracting me. Anyway, shh. Thanks for that combo, by the way. Mm, forward two four down forward one down forward two down forward two one down forward two down two what's that oh he still has the old one this used to be a bound but bound doesn't even exist anymore obviously maybe this is good for okazumi situation you can end that combo in forward forward two one for ground breaks huh.
Cool. Thanks. Down four two down two is minus four on block. That's pretty cool. That's safe. Down four three. Oh yeah, this is an important one. This string is mid mid, and it used to be safe. It still is minus six. This is a good string. It's plus on hit. It's mid mid. It's safe on block. Uh, you can't delay it, but it's just a good mid string. Mid mid. It's got good range. You know, it's solid. It's a solid string. Plus on hit, safe on block. Um, it's like one of those moves where like I, you gotta find out what moves to use to set up bigger moves. This is like one of those Thank moves. You. you know, you could just use it mid poke, solid. Uh, who 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 are these people? Big Dave two five two and Fran Ko Koiki Koiki. Thanks very much, Franco Icky or something. Uh, and Dark Spaghetti. Thank you again. I don't need any more combos. Thanks, though. I'll get to combos later. I just... One bread and butter combo is good enough for now. I'm more interested in the move list. Uh, and the frames. Down forward 3-2. We talked about that. Down forward 4. Oh, yeah. Down forward 4-1. Four, That's mid-high. This is a knee. I think the third hit is delayable. And also, if the third hit counter hits, it juggles. Like that. Ooh, that's a new stun, though. Thank you. Mmm, Dubifier. Hey, thanks very much. Thanks for the big resub. Muchos Garcias. Mmm. Down forward 411. Down 2. This used to be a bound move. Down 2. Minus 7 to 5. Opponent is crouching on block. So it's safe, and the opponent is crouching. I told you guys yesterday that. If your move puts the opponent into crouch, the significance of this state, forced crouch, the significance of that is that when you force them into crouch, right, in this scenario, on block or hit, when I force them into crouch, not only is it like a regular advantage situation, right, this is important too, right, so pay attention. Not only is it an advantageous situation like you normally would be, but because it forces them into crouch, as the attacker, I can really narrow down what they're going to retaliate with. Because they're in crouch. And when you're in crouch, you're limited. You can only do wall standing moves, right? And you can only move upwards. You can't sidestep downwards when you're in crouch because you're already in crouch. You can't sidestep downwards. But you can sidestep upwards. So. If you know all that shit, right, when I force him into crouch, right, like this, I, I know in my mind Miguel only has this, he has this, he has this, and this, and he can only go sideways, right? There are other things, right, little things, but the, the point is that it's significantly better when they're forced into crouch because it's easier for you to narrow down what they're going to do, and that way you can make a good read on what you should do, right? That's why forcing people into crouch is a good thing for your moves. It's called S in the frame data. So it'll say plus four to six S. The S means forced crouch. I don't know why it means that, but that's how it's uh, like annotated in frame data. They can sidestep downward depending on what side they play is what Echo says. And that is true, but only online. It, uh, that's not true in versus mode. Because you can't pick your side in versus mode. But he's right. He can sidestep down if he picks the other side. I didn't want to get into that because it's confusing. But you're right about that. Oops. No. Up four, three, two, two. He's got a lot of cool moves we haven't even gotten into yet. S for crouch. <laughs> this is the new move. Down 3 plus 4. I'll get to that too. I like his stomp. Alright, alright. Be cool. I'm thirsty. Does the second hit of down forward 3-2 still knock them on their ass if they crouch? 
I'll check. It does! That's sick. I don't think anything's guaranteed, though. So let's look at that. Thanks for bringing that up. Down four, three, two. Plus, what is that? Down four, three, two. It looks like it's one of those situations where you get plus frames, but nothing's guaranteed. It says plus 30. I think this is plus 30, but nothing's guaranteed. So it's like a guard break. That exists in this game too. It's like a guard break, except it's not a guard break. It's just like a fake advantage. Mm. Hmm. Any tips on how to navigate the 100 plus moves that every character has feels overwhelming. The best advice I can give is find a good solid player that plays your favorite character and observe what moves they do and then copy those moves. Because good players don't use every move. They use a specific small list of moves. That's really what you should focus on. Find a good player to copy. Because though there are a hundred moves, you really don't need a hundred moves. In fact, if you watch anyone that's solid play, you'll notice they only use like 10 or a handful, unless it's very situational, right? So uh, the best advice is that. And as far as defensively, when you're fighting against someone that's really fucking you up really bad, focus on what moves they're using to fuck you up. That way, when you go to defensive training, you'll have somewhere to kind of... Like, you won't be just looking at this character with a hundred moves and not know what to do, right? Focus on what's beating you specifically and focus on the moves that good players are using specifically. That's really the only thing you could do, right? It's, it's, the thing is, the funny thing about Tekken is, if you're brand new, you can, you're gonna be like, wow, this is crazy, right? If you're brand new, you're gonna be like, look at all these moves, this is absurd. But the better you get at Tekken, the more you're gonna be like, man, I wish I had more moves. And then you're gonna get better and be like, ah, oh, I wish I had this move. You're gonna get better and better and you're gonna feel like you don't even have enough moves. Eventually, the better you get at Tekken, the more moves you want as a player. You're gonna want a high crush with this character. You're gonna want a low crush with this character. So it's a really, basically it's a really good game, right? Is what I'm trying to tell you. It's just a matter of not getting too like scared by this long ass move list. You gotta just find the good moves. There's a lot of articles and shit written out there about like what the best moves are for every character and stuff. I don't really focus on it, but I'm sure there is a lot of stuff like that. Uh, what is this guy saying? In frame data, what do the frames in parentheses mean? Let me find one so I can answer that for you. What do the frames in parentheses mean? I don't see any here. So maybe someone else can answer it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but I'll tell you that it doesn't... Um, maybe I don't know. Maybe I have to get an example of it. Yeah. Excuse me. Amnesiac. Thanks very much for subscribing. Four, one, no. Down two, we were there. Down three, this is a good low two. Very commonly used for Miguel. At least in previous games. Down three. Fifteen damage. It's kind of slow, but it high crushes, and it's only minus twelve on block, and it's plus one on hit. So this is uninterruptible. That's uninterruptible. Uh, maybe... Oh, I forgot about that. He has this full crouch mix-up. New to Tekken here. How do I push block or what moves have I frames on startup? ATPRTS. <laughs> How do I push block and what moves have I frames on startup? Well, you know, uh, Gunslinger. Thanks for the 420, and also, I think Akuma and Eliza's EX uppercut has iframes on startup. At frame 1, actually. I'm pretty sure. 
Anyway, thanks. Uh, down four, two, two. Down three, minus 12. Down four. Oh yeah. So this is zero minus 11, but it has a second hit. The headbutt. But it's a high. Uh, the headbutt is a high, and it's, what is it? Minus eight, forced crouch opponent on block. Plus five on hit. And counter hit. It's probably a counter hit combo. Yeah, it is. So down four, one plus two. That's pretty much the same. You used to use that in like a juggle like this. Maybe you still do. Or maybe he has something better. I don't know. Uh, who was that? Casual Gamer Trainer. Thanks for the resub. Muchos Garcia. Uh, four, one plus two forward. It goes into Savage Stance. Uh, down one plus two. Oh yeah, this is a good whiff punisher. It used to do something different on hit. It changed the animation on hit. But this is a good whiff punisher and I think it also crushes pretty well at the beginning. Uh, I used down four, one plus two as a magic four combo. Ah, oh, interesting. Thanks for that. That's kind of shitty though for a magic four combo, unless he doesn't get anything else, but uh, let's continue. Down three plus four. Oh yeah, this is that new move. Uh, down three plus four is a new move. It's minus 12 on block, but it looks like it's got some range to it. So maybe if you do it shallow, it's very hard to blo uh, block punish. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not as much as I thought. I wonder if this hits on the ground. Restart position? No, that's not it. Uh, opponent status. Down, face up. It do! It do! It do hit on the ground. While he's on the ground, let's test a few things. That doesn't hit on the ground? I thought that did. Maybe it doesn't anymore. I don't know. He has a stomp. He has a ghetto stomp. 20 damage. And... Uh, what else hits on the ground? Oh, that doesn't hit on the ground? I thought it did. Oh, man. That sucks. But this does. That's good to know. This hits on the ground, and he's got the stomp, the ghetto stomp. How's it going, everybody? Happy Big Monday. <laughs> so excited to be playing Tekken 7. Uh, Gojers, thanks very much for the Twitch Prime, man. Uh, uh, thanks. Down 3 plus 4, new move. Down back one. This is kind of his, like, uh, if you do it fast, it's fast. But if you do it slow, it's slower and you get a full juggle off of it. But most good players can see the slower version. So look, can you tell the difference? That's the full charge version and that's the fast version. I'll tell you the difference in uh, impact frames, right? So we're talking 25 frames, right? This is 25 frames. So a good player can see this. But a slower player might get hit by it. It's right at that th end of the threshold of a seeable low, right? But if you hold it down, it goes from being 25 frames to 31 frames. And 31 frames is slow enough for any old Aerith to block, right? 31 frames is slow as hell. So you will see that. Uh, even the fast one you can probably see, right? But the slow one, nah, most good players don't use it. Most good players don't use it. Uh, but the fast one does give you some some juggle, right? What is it? Let's see. While standing for at least. That's what they used to do. And you can also wall carry, right? With, uh, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember. Mm, anyway, who was that? Uh, smoke signals. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. 
smoke signals. They're both launch punishable, by the way. Minus 18. Down 3 plus 4 gives a com combo on counter hit, I think. Ooh, that's pretty sick. Thanks for the heads up. I wonder what the combo is. I don't know what the combo is. It might be, like, not a full combo. Anyway. Uh, thanks for the heads up on that. Down 3 plus 4. Down back 1, down back 2. Oh, this move turned out to be fucking hella good against Kuma. His bread and butters against Kuma are extremely cheap. He can juggle with this move a hundred times. Miguel versus Kuma is a blow up. You can rage drive after... Wow, really? What's his rage drive? Oh, I have to get rage drive. I'll do it later. Ah, excuse me. Down 4, 1, plus 2. Hey, how's it going? I was wondering how you reverse the running tackle and get on top like you did with Dragonoff. Uh, Dragonoff has a unique reversal for a 2 punch out of a tackle, but you just mash 1 plus 2 to do that. But the good news is, the way you reverse a tackle with every character is also 1 plus 2. So anytime you get tackled, the best thing to do is, as soon as you see it start, start mashing 1 plus 2. If the tackle ends and they've completely hit you with the full mount, then stop pushing 1 plus 2 and decide whether you're going to hit 1 or 2. Because then they're going to start doing the ultimate tackle punches. But the beginning part of the tackle, you want to be mashing 1 plus 2 together. So either you can break it or you can reverse it. You have a couple of opportunities. So basically, long story short, when you get tackled in this game, you want to mash 1 plus 2, but as soon as you reach the full mount, stop mashing 1 plus 2 and mash the 1 or 2. That's what you should do. CM Punk could have used these strats. Yeah, he sure could have. Uh, anyway, keep it down. Oh yeah, this is a very important low as well. It ends in Savage if you hold forward. It used to be really good. I assume it's still good. Plus 3 on hit, minus 13 on block. That's good. Also, Savage Stance has a low. Savage down back 3. And now it knocks down on counter. And it gives you that new stun, which probably gives you a free hit. That's really good. That's really great, actually. Down back 3-4 is the extension. Only a combo on counter. Uh, and it's not safe. Wow, it's minus 19? That's weird. Yeah, it is. Minus 19, holy shit. Minus 8 on hit. So not that useful of a move. Down back four. Oh yeah, this is the one. Uh, RB Norway was telling me about this in that last donation message, right? This is now not launch punishable. It's like minus 14 or 13, and it gives you an extra hit on the ground. I don't know what the combo is, of course, but maybe it's this. I don't know. Maybe you get a better combo. Pretty cool though. It's a pretty cool new addition for Miguel. Miguel's hop kick is one of his best things, right? Maybe they nerfed it, but it used to have really good range. It looks like maybe they nerfed it a bit. Thank you. Used to have great range. Mm, who was that? Uh, Joder TX5. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. It was awesome meeting you at Combo Breaker the past two years. Uh, uh, hey, thanks very much. Could I go over Brian sometime? Uh, maybe. We'll see. 
I'm not like in a hurry to use that character, but um, thanks for the Twitch Prime. And nice meeting you, though I don't know who you are. Uh, either way, good shit. Uh, Rorik, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Can you give me any Kazuya tips? Yeah, I'll give you a really good tip for Kazuya and any other Mishima character. Forget about wave dashing and forget about electrics, because you're wasting your time if you focus on those things. You're wasting your time. It's really the best advice I can give to any Mishima player. Focus on learning how to play Tekken and don't waste days doing electrics. Even if you perfect the electric, you're never gonna beat anyone with just that skill. And I got bad news. You're never gonna perfect the electric either, right? So add one and one together. You're wasting your time. If you wanna get good, learn how to play Tekken. It's really the best, uh, best advice I can give any Mishima player. Anyway, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Mm. Oh yeah, this is that move. Minus nine on block. I'm getting there, Internet. It's a process. I gotta use my eyes. You know how I feel about that. Maybe I should make this bigger. Control plus that ass. Oh my god, why didn't I do that earlier? I fucking did control plus four times. I was over here squinting like crazy. Idiot. Alright, alright. You know... Uh, you teach a man to make lemonade, uh, whatever. You know the saying. You know the old adage. Four, four, one, down one, plus two. Back one. Did we do that? Oh yeah, this is important. Down that four. Back one is an 11 frame counter hit move. You want to counter hit with this. And I think you get big damage. I'm pretty sure you get like a shitload of damage off of this. I don't know what the combo is, but... Oh, I already used it? No, I did the wrong move. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm sure you could get more damage than that. That's just the bootleg combo that the guy taught me in five minutes. Hey, owner. Do you know offhand if Yoshimitsu has any cow sweep type moves that you can combo off? Thanks for all the helpful tips. Any cow sweep type moves? I think you mean low sweep type moves. Yeah, he has a sword sweep. Uh, it's like full crouch, down forward one, or quarter circle back one. Sword sweep, that's one. It's unblockable. And if you put your sword away by pushing 2 plus 3, you get a full crouch down forward 3 full crouch sweep. That knocks down. It's my favorite move with him. Put your sword away and full crouch down forward 3 is a knockdown low that gives you a combo. Thanks Uber Dookie. And uh, uh, thanks Seabog. Sorry. Thanks Seabog. This is Uber Dookie coming up. I don't know what this stoner says. But also Irelian, thanks very much, and to Coup de Gras, Coup de Gras, thanks very much, and Johnny Zinger, thanks. It's taken forever to learn this character because of your generosity, you know that? <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. How am I supposed to learn Tekken with my dog fucking that squeaky toy to death in the other room? Hey, thanks Seabob and thanks Uber Dookie. Are you interested in Xiao Yu? Not in playing her, but I like the character. I've always been a big fan of Xiao Yu because I learned to play Tekken against this guy named Shano, and he was a Xiao Yu and Lei player. And I also have been a fan of Eddie since I've started playing Tekken because of Q Dog. Q Dog played Yoshi and Eddie, and uh, Shano played Ling and Lei. So I learned how to play Tekken against the jankiest, most fucking bootlegged, weird ass characters in the whole game. And I think it was really a good way to learn because it was like a trial by fire. I got used to AOP and relax and all that other stupid shit 
So now when I fight against like, you know, Kazuya or any character that stands up like a man, it's like a, not that big of a deal, you know? So mm, it was pretty cool. I have a lot of like uh, deep respect and like love for Xiaoyu, Lei, Eddie, Yoshi, all these like weird characters. I like them a lot. Anyway, keep it down. Uh, back one forward, Savage Stance. We know about that. Back two. This was a bound move. Who cares about that? Back three. Oh yeah, this is important. Plus seven to nine on hit and block. That's pretty interesting. That's plus seven to nine on block. Yeah. If you hold forward, you go into Savage. Excuse me. Back forward. This used to be safe, but now it's an armor move. It's a mid armor move. It used to be safe on block, but now it's an armor move and is unsafe on block. Minus 14 on block. But still a good armor move. I think it's useful at the wall, right? If you have a read. Back two with a counter hit launcher. Oh, yeah. It's not a good one, though. Oh, it's not anymore. It's not. It was never a good one, though, right? Telephone nozzle is way cooler. Uh, back three, forward, up back one, what's that? Oh yeah, fuck this move. I guess it's kind of gimmicky. It's mid-low, but it's not very good. Up back, I don't remember if that's what it was before, though. Hmm, interesting. Up back three, what's that? Oh, this? Damn, you can't go into a string if you defensive jump. That would be cool. You can't even do it on a neutral jump. You have to do up forward 3-2. That's fucked up. Mid-high. And it's not even a na natural combo. What about counter hit? Yeah, it's counter hit combo. <gasps> Thank you. That's a, that, all three hits of that are a counter hit combo? That's a counter hit combo. That's hella good. That is hella good. Damn, that's sick. Up four, three, two, two is a counter hit combo. Hmm, that is awesome. Of course it's mid high, right? And you can't hit confirm it. So you have to commit, right? But it's still cool. Because you can counter hit confirm it, I'm sure. Yeah. No? What the Ganyma was that? Oh, yeah, you can. You just gotta be quick. Yeah. That is tight. That is really cool. How fast is this? Up forward three is 19 frames, minus three on hit. Sorry. Plus three on hit, minus nine. Minus ten on block. So it's not safe. Up forward 3-2 kind of makes it not worth trying to punish, right? But they have to duck. Up forward 3-2 seems to be minus 12 on block as well. So, eh, it's not that good. But it's cool that it's a 3-hit natural counter hit combo. I like that. It's not, like, super good, though. But I still like it. That's an interesting three hit counter hit combo. That's not that common, especially off of a jumping move. Put counter hit on random to show that it's hit confirmable. I mean, I don't really need to do that. You could do that if you need to do that, but I can tell if it's hit confirmable just by doing it myself, right? It's easy to tell. You just push the button after the move connects. It's very simple. Uh, no need to go through the trouble. Mm. Up back four. Up four. 
So Miguel's hop kick used to be minus 14. I, right? Am I right about that? Wasn't it minus 14? Now it's minus 13 or 12, depending on range. Which seems like it is a buff, but you know, it used to have more range too, I think. It doesn't feel like as long range as it used to be. Right? Maybe they nerfed it. Mmm. 442, 442, 1, 442, cancel, 443. Four, four, this. Oh, yeah, homing move. And it's a corkscrew move, right? Minus 9 on block. Ah, I could live with that. It's a pretty cool move. Uh, back forward 1. Oh, yeah, this is like his sidestep, built in sidestep move. It's pretty evasive. High crushes, and it sidesteps to the left. Back forward 1. It's usable. I don't know what you get on hit. Maybe, yeah, stomp. Wow. It went all the way around. Yeah, maybe a stomp's like the best thing you can get. I don't know. Uh, it's minus 8 on block. That's pretty good. Safe. But it's high. Right? Hey, get up. Yeah. Forward, 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 three. This is his slash kick. It's plus nine on block. It's mid. Uh, four, two plus four plus three. Weird. Uh, while standing one. Plus eight on hit. That's good. While standing two used to be his uh, 15 frame launcher, but I think it's better to do a hop kick, right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if while standing two is a better launcher or if. Uh... Oh, is this faster? This looks like it's 14 frames now. Was this always 14 frames while standing two? I don't remember him having a 14 frame wall standing launcher. This might might be crazy. Uses new wall standing 2 4. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Are you checking this all on RB Norway? Yeah, I am. Wow, that's his new launcher. Interesting. Wall standing 2 4. Hmm. I didn't know it was 14 frames though. It was always 14? I don't remember him having a 14 frame while standing launcher. But maybe I'm just forgetting. It's been a while. While standing 2 4. It's minus 12 on block, mid high. That's pretty cool. While standing 3. While standing 1 plus 2? What's this? Oh, it's a, you're trying to get a counter hit with this, right? No? Oh, it's the starter of his uh, 10 string, right? Yeah. It's a 10 string starter. Yeah. Alright, forget that. While standing 1 plus 2. Oh, it's 0 on block though. That's pretty cool. Ah, that's interesting. Zero on block. Uh, we're almost at the end now. Full crush down forward four. Knock down low. Doesn't look different. Uh, ghetto stomp. Doesn't look that different. It's minus 13 on block. One plus four. What's this? Oh, this is just a taunt. And this is his savage stuff. Damn, he's got a lot. <laughs> one, one. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 
Savage 1 plus 2. That's an armored launcher now? That is fucking good. Wow. That's got to be launch punishable. I think it always was, though. Dude, armored launcher? Out of Savage Stance? That might be great. Awesome. Hmm. What else do we got here? Savage forward one plus two. Oh. Safe if charged, right? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Savage plus two. No, it's not safe if charged. It looks like it's twelve. Uh, minus twelve. But maybe it's safe because of pushback. I mean, yeah, pushback. Nah, you could probably reach. It's not safe if you charge it all the way. It's minus 12. Uh, that's Savage down back 3. That's really good. Savage down back 4. That's not as good, but usable. It looks like they changed the animation a little bit. It has a block stagger. Very unsafe. If you hold forward during certain savage moves, you stay in savage. Yeah, I know that. It shows that on the move list here. Mm. <clears throat> Man, I can't wait to play online. I'm getting close. Savage back three. What is that? That's an armor move too? That's an armor move too. This guy seems cool. You gotta be kidding me. This guy's got some of the best armor moves. That's tight. You know what? This move, down 3 plus 4, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but... You can input the down and then the 3 plus 4 and it looks like you get a couple frames of high crush, right? You can make this move high crush a bit, it looks like. You can delay the 3 plus 4. The move is down 3 plus 4, but you can hit the 3 plus 4 late and I think it gives you an early high crush. Can you do it without delay? Yeah. You could do it fast. Or you could like do it late to get some high crush frames at the beginning. See? That's fast. And that's late. You start a crouch at the beginning of the move. Savage up forward three? What's that? Oh, yeah. That's old. So he doesn't have any jump moves out of Savage, does he? But he has um, armor now. Armor moves out of Savage, which is great. Cool. Uh, down three plus four at the wall is very strong. Yeah, I, I believe it. I believe it. It seems like a good move. I was worried that they were going to gimp Miguel the way they gimped, or at least the way they seem to have gimped Eddie. Eddie is a peculiar character because when he first came out, everyone was bitching about him being nerfed. But then, the more and more days that go by, people seem to be more and more happy with him. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that character. I think that's it. There's a couple of like generic moves I'm going over just to make sure. Oh, you know what move I didn't get to? 
his rage drive, rage R, and this one too, up forward one. Did I skip that? Up forward one is a Superman punch that's plus on block. How did I miss that? Up forward one, there it is. I missed it. I thought it was part of a back one. Uh, up forward one, it's mid, mid Superman punch, it jumps in the air, and uh, it's plus on block. How much plus on block? Plus three on block. What does it do on counter hit? Doesn't do shit on counter hit. But it's a good move. Jumps in the air, plus three on block, mid. Thank you. Definitely a good move. Mm, who was that? Holla holla get dolla. Thanks very much. Muchos Garcias. Uh, where is his rage drive? First, let's turn on rage. Player rage on. Okay, so I got rage assault right now. Now what? What's my shit? I think it's down back one plus two, right? What the Ghani ma is that? And then back one plus two is the rage art. So where is that rage drive? Uh, down back one plus two. Plus three on block. It looks like a mid mid that's plus three on block and seven no startup 17 frames so it's a 17 frame mid mid that's plus three on block right let's check it out a little further so what about airborne so it's like a corkscrew no matter what the first hit will take away one. It's kind of like uh, Yoshi's, except it's two hits. So let's make up a combo. Mm. Uh, how about that? Oh, that might work. Okay. Oh, what? Why did that happen? Is that not a corkscrew move? If you hit in the air with it? What's a corkscrew move? Down for 2 2, maybe? Alright, let's try that. What? So it doesn't do that. Can't you corkscrew twice with Rage Drive? You can with other characters, but not him. Miguel's instant. In, I don't know what the fuck kind of English that is. I'm going to ignore it. You know, uh, uh, Tekken really brings out the ESL motherfuckers. I got to really try to, uh, like, these. some of these are like riddles. I got to, like, it de crack the code of what you're trying to say here, you know? Sometimes I got to abandon shit. It's going to take me an hour to figure out what you're trying to say. You know what I mean? Just reword that shit. Uh, what's a corkscrew? It's a tailspin. Uh, tailspin is like uh, the way you do combos in this game. It's an airborne state. That. That's a corkscrew. Mm. Mm. Anyway. It's interesting that you don't get a second bound for that. Right? What's up with that? Oh, someone said you could do this, this, and that. Ah. So that's what's good about his rage drive. You can combo off of his wall standing four with it into a full combo. Very, very interesting, right? That's actually quite a bit of utility. Um, I bet you it opens up a bunch of different uh, combo opportunities that didn't exist before. Like, for example, what about off of like a get up kick? Counter hit, get up kick, wall standing four, then you'd be able to get that. There are probably more scenarios. How about like something like this? No? Maybe not. How about something like this? Nah. That would be too good. Nope. Yeah. Excuse me. Rage Drive refreshes your tailspin, but it isn't a free tailspin. Example, tailspin, pick them up, Rage Drive, for another tailspin. 
<laughs> yeah. Thank spin, you. Pick them up. Rage drive for another tailspin. Okay, let's try that. Because I feel like I did that, and that's not what happened. So, uh, let's try this again. Tailspin, pick them up. Rage drive for another tailspin. So, look. Tailspin. Oh, just a sec. Tailspin. Rage drive. See? King of all tigers. That's what I thought, but it seems to be not the case for Miguel. Miguel only gets one tailspin, it seems, right? So what you said is tailspin, pick them up, and then rage drive for a second tailspin, but it doesn't work. You see that? Oops. So that's not the case for him. His is a normal tailspin, but Yoshi's has a special tailspin animation that doesn't count as one because it's not the same effect. That sounds more like it. This doesn't seem like a double tailspin. We talked about this. You don't get two tailspins. We talked about this? I don't remember. Only blue spark tailspins like Yoshi's and Lee's give a second one. That's how you tell. That's what I'm talking about. Only the blue spark tailspins like Yoshi's and Lee's give a second one. So this may look like Yoshi's and Lee's, but there are no blue sparks. So that's why it's not giving us a second tailspin. So that guy earlier that was saying you gotta pick him up, that guy was full of shit. This isn't one of those rage drives. But, it does seem like it combos off of his wall standing four, which is pretty good. I don't know what the best combo is there, but that's pretty good that you get that. Anyway, all right, good shit, good shit. I think he uh, he's pretty neat, pretty fun, and I'm looking forward to trying him out. But the question is, what are we going to do now? I know I have to take a break. Oh, it also combos from full crouch down forward four. What do you mean? Oh, like that. That's pretty cool. Wow. I bet you there are more scenarios. That's pretty cool, man. Um, anyway. I'm gonna take a break for sure. Then when I come back, I'm gonna decide on what character I'm gonna play online. But I definitely am ready for some online. I had enough practice mode, I had enough homework. I was supposed to look at Josie today, but I was too excited about Miguel. So I looked at Miguel. Uh, but the good news is, I feel like I don't have to look at Miguel defensively again, because I feel like I've seen every move uh, that he has. So. The only thing I have left to do with Miguel is learn the combos, and I think I'll be ready to at least tinker online with him. But I'll learn the combos later. As far as defensively, uh, the next character I'm going to look at is Josie Rizal, but I'm too turned up right now to do that right now. So what I'm going to do is play some online, and then we'll decide what happens after that. Um, just FYI, one of the types of questions that uh, 